Most Mac users never touch the option key, but it's hiding shortcuts that make your Mac faster, cleaner, and way more powerful. Today, I'll show you the best hidden features with the option key and stick around until the end to download a free PDF with all these tips. So let's get into it. Let's start with where most people spend their time, Finder. These shortcuts will change how you move and manage files. First on our list, the inspector panel. Imagine you're organizing files and need to check details across multiple items. Typically, you'd right click on an item and choose Get Info or tap Command I. However, this approach quickly becomes tedious when you're working with more than one file. Try Command Option I instead to launch the inspector. Unlike the standard info window, this panel refreshes dynamically as you select different files. No need to dismiss and relaunch windows. Simply click and see the information update instantly. Here's a quick tip. You can collapse sections you don't need to streamline the view. Another essential finder shortcut involves copying files. When dragging files between locations on the same drive, your Mac moves them by default. But what if you want to duplicate rather than relocate? Hold the Option key while dragging files, and you'll notice a small plus sign indicator that appears next to your cursor. This creates a copy at the destination while keeping the original file intact. Perfect for creating backup versions or templates without using the copy-paste menu. Now, regarding file deletion, usually you drag items to the trash or use command delete, but then you still have to empty the trash eventually. And if you're completely confident about permanently eliminating something, we can use command option delete instead. This bypasses the trash entirely for immediate irreversible deletion. Just remember, there's no recovery option for this, so use it wisely. This is particularly useful for me when I have very large video files that are taking up valuable space. That takes care of file management, and now let's talk about your workspace. These shortcuts will help you stay focused and clear out clutter fast. Have you ever had numerous windows from the same application open and wish to minimize them completely? Simply hold Option while clicking the yellow Minimize button in the top left corner of any window and watch as all the windows from that application minimize simultaneously into the dock. This is vastly more efficient than handling them individually. Working across multiple applications and feeling overwhelmed? Here's a fantastic shortcut, Command Option H. This immediately conceals every application except your current one. The other apps stay open, just hidden. It's ideal for eliminating distractions and maintaining focus on your present activity. If you want to enlarge a window without entering full screen mode, hold Option while clicking the green Maximize button. This creates a perfectly sized window without entering the full screen view. Perfect for apps with floating toolbars that might be hidden in the full screen mode. Now, regarding resource optimization, have you ever maintained dozens of tabs in Safari that are slowing down your system? You could press Command Q to exit the application, but then you'd sacrifice all those tabs and all the windows, and instead experiment using Command Option Q. This closes the application while preserving all your windows and tabs. When you relaunch the application later, everything will remain exactly as you left it. It's like pausing instead of quitting, great for freeing up memory without losing your place. Let's move to the menu bar, one of the most overlooked spots for hidden power moves. First, if you hold the option and select the speaker icon, you'll see all your input and output audio devices. So I can easily switch between the internal speakers and microphones and choose my external devices. Next, if I hold the option key while tapping the Wi-Fi icon, I can see all the network details for the Wi-Fi connection, which can be helpful for troubleshooting network issues. And here's another concealed gem. Select the Apple logo in the upper left corner of your screen, then hold the Option key. Observe as About This Mac transforms into System Information, granting instant access to comprehensive specifications and hardware details with just one click. Next up, Precise Control. These Option Key combos let you fine-tune your Mac's volume and brightness like a pro. Hold Option and press either Volume button to launch sound settings directly. And instead of taking a whole step increase or decrease in the volume, try holding Shift Option while you press the volume buttons. Instead of the standard full steps, this modifies the volume in quarter step increments, providing 64 different volume levels. 
you'll notice the on-screen indicator shows smaller movements, perfect for finding that exact volume that's not too loud, but still audible. The same applies for brightness. Shift Option with the brightness buttons allows you to fine-tune your display with greater precision. This is invaluable for photo editing or any visual work where screen brightness affects how you perceive colors and details. Now, let's talk text. If you write, edit, or email regularly, these option-based shortcuts will save you tons of time. When navigating through text, hold Option and press the left or right arrow buttons to move the cursor an entire word at a time instead of character by character. You'll notice the cursor jumps to the beginning of each word, respecting punctuation as word boundaries. And this is exponentially faster than tapping the arrow key repeatedly when working with longer documents. Need to move vertically? Option with the up or down arrows moves the cursor an entire paragraph at a time. This is particularly useful in documents with many paragraphs or when reviewing formatted text where you want to jump quickly between distinct sections. For selecting text, incorporate Shift into the combination. Shift, Option, and then the left or right arrow selects entire words simultaneously, while Shift, Option, Up or Down selects complete paragraphs. When deleting text, you can combine Option Delete to remove entire words backward without having to select them first. These text navigation shortcuts work consistently across almost all Mac OS applications, including Mail, Pages, Notes, and third-party apps like Microsoft Word. Mastering these movements can reduce editing time significantly compared to using a mouse for the same selections. And finally, when something goes wrong, the Option key becomes your emergency toolkit. These last tricks are for your safety net for freezes, crashes, and cluttered screens. When an application freezes and your cursor isn't responding, don't worry, just press Command, Option, Escape to access the Force Quit panel. From there, use the arrow keys to highlight the unresponsive application, press Enter, and it's terminated swift and straightforward without requiring a Mac restart. And for those times when you need to quickly hide information on your screen, Command, Option, Power button immediately locks the screen without affecting running applications. So these shortcuts might take some practice. But once they're automatic, your Mac gets faster and easier to use. Use the link in the description below to grab the free PDF with all these tips. And if this video helped you out, make sure to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.